to the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places. the time between the snap and the release. 1.3 seconds to Edelman. He's back. That's a problem. 1.4 seconds again to Edelman. Then he goes to Gronk down the middle. Play action pass. He held on to the ball in this one. 2.1 seconds. And now to Patterson. 0.6 seconds on a bunch. Quick screen out to him for a touchdown. How do you defend it? It's frustrating you for can. a defensive yes. player, though, whenever he's getting rid of the ball that quick. But it's Tom Brady. And not only is he, he just distributes the ball so well. James White running back position. Nine catches yes. so far in the first half. But they look like they're dominating now. But the Colts, Terry, they've had some shots. Well, they need a little luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's not forget that last week they went into the hurry-up offense and played very well against Houston. But here they go back. You'll notice that Locke drops it off out into the flat and a drop ball by Eric Ebram. One of the problems he had in Detroit while he was gone is because he had a lot of drop passes. They over, then the overthrown pass for a touchdown, although it needed to be an excellent pass to Pascal overthrown. Then Adam Vinatieri, the guy that for New England, let's not forget, kicked the winning Super Bowl kicks against 36 Rams and then against the Carolina Panthers in 38. He hits the uprights right there. So not a lot of good Don't luck in the, the first half. The, Don't forget the kick in the snow versus Oakland. Yeah. Oh, dear, yeah you're still pained over that, Howie. But you know, if you're the Colts, you're in Foxborough. Tough place to play. You're down by 21. <laughs> what do you have to do in the second half to get back into well, it? Well, Troy talked about it. it. It's difficult. One, I, I think the team that plays at home on a Thursday has a huge advantage. Two, they go to overtime last week, and they're out eight players to start with, and they've had two or three players drop in this half. It's survival, really, in the second half. You like that? I do. You know, it'd be nice if they could play man coverage. They could stop a lot of these passes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, TB. We'll do that in 30 seconds. 30 seconds to Terry. Yeah. going to tell him why the Steelers have a must-win game on Sunday. But first, Toyota plays a game of tag and show them just how fun it is to be it. Tomorrow night on NFL Network. He was the defensive leader who helped spark the Patriots' dynasty of football life. Willie McGinnis, tomorrow at 8, only on NFL Network. All right, welcome back to Fox Square, everybody. And, guys, this is just a start to the NFL week. We've got a loaded Sunday coming up. And here's a little preview. The action continues this Sunday on Fox. We've got three Super Bowl winning quarterbacks on tap. You'll get the conclusion of Aaron Andrews' exclusive interview with the great Tom Brady. Carissa Thompson heads to Seattle to hang with Russell Wilson and four-time Pro Bowler Bobby Wagner. And Chris Myers spends some time with Big Ben Roethlisberger. It's a star-studded lineup leading to jaw-dropping football. And it's only on Fox. If you like passing football in the NFL, which is what we have now, you're going to love the Fox game when you're going to have Atlanta going up to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pick Ben Roethlisberger, Matt Ryan, balls will be flying in the air. And, of course, I know Pittsburgh will win that game because I'm a Steelers fan. <laughs> Minnesota coming off that loss last Thursday, waited 10 days. They traveled to Philadelphia. This time it's Kirk Cousins versus Carson Wentz in the NFC Championship rematch game. Should be a good game, fellas. How about you, Bob? How do I feel? Yeah. Uh, you know what? what I'm going to go Giants? with my man Howie. <laughs> Don't talk about my Giants. Leave my Giants out of this. Listen, we have a lot of Giants fans out here. Yes, we do. That's all that matters. the Toyota Halftime.